so this is fun. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Chatter. Oh, it is so cold out. It's 18 degrees. I'm just waiting for my window to the frost. Realizing in this light, I look very bronzy. Okay. So I didn't pack my lunch, didn't bring my coffee. Okay, enough talk, I gotta go. It's 8.12. So, I'll see you guys at work. I'm probably gonna have to get coffee and, you know, just all the things. <laughs> okay, see you there. So I'm just gonna track this with chicken. I'm not gonna eat much of this or this, and I'm trying to not eat all these chips, but there's just lettuce underneath. So I'll tell you guys on the screen what the points end up being, but then I got a Sprite Zero. <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> yeah, this is his so far. <laughs> this is mine. I'm gonna eat one of these little bars for dessert. I got them for my Weight Watchers meeting. Chocolate peanut butter, they're only two points. All planned. Okay guys, don't mind my crazy hair. It was in a ponytail all day and now I'm driving home. I forgot, you guys, I did not get the stuff I need to make something for this week, which I don't know if I'm gonna make it tonight or if I'm just gonna make it tomorrow. So I gotta go to the grocery store. And I really gotta pee. I didn't pee before I left, and now I really gotta go. You guys, I started making this dessert lately. Wow. Just wow. And so I'm excited to share that with you. It's very simple, but so good. But I wanna make, if any of you actually go to the meetings, there's like this tortellini soup that they shared and I really, really wanted to make it and I've just had tortellini in my refrigerator just taunting me. So I really wanna make it, so I definitely need to get some groceries in order to make that soup. I'm just like annoyed with myself though because I should have just made my full grocery list so I could just get all that stuff. So now I don't really know what I wanna make all week so I'm gonna have to go back to the grocery store again. Oh, okay, I just got back from the grocery and holy moly, I forgot that yesterday most people have Martin Luther King Day off, you know, so like everyone did their like Monday grocery shopping today. I wasn't pleased. So I just got, well, I went in there like, you know, I just need a couple things for this recipe. $80 later. <laughs> so I got some of my staples. A lot of you are just starting. Um, a lot of you have messaged me and said you are just starting Weight Watchers, so I'll show you some of my staples while we're here. I get the Sara Lee's 45 calorie bread. I switch up the flavors, you know. Whole wheat, multi grain, you never know. I always get these. These are so addicting and so amazing. If you don't have self-control yet, like maybe don't get them. So like, why did I get them? But they're so good. I got more ketchup. Um, I always get the part skin mozzarella cheese. There are zero point cheeses out there, but the Walmart is so far from me. And I like the regular cheese a little better nowadays. So I have the fat free cheddar cheese in my fridge. I got some taco seasoning. I got some cheesecake jello um, pudding stuff because Someone told me to put this into Greek yogurt and that it tastes like just like cheesecake and put like fruit in it. Okay. I'm gonna dip me a graham cracker in there. Stop. I always, always get these high fiber carb lean tortillas. They're one point a piece and they're decent size. Got some chicken broth and some diced tomatoes for something I'm making. I might make it in this video or the next video. I, of course, of course you guys, you already know. I'm corny. Got more pizza sauce, the Prego pizza sauce. I make pizzas a lot, the turkey pepperonis. Um, I don't like, for some reason, getting the big 
plain Greek yogurt. It just freaks me out. And then when I don't use it, I just want to throw the whole thing away. Instead, I get these little mini Greek yogurts. Don't ask me why, I don't know. I of course got some DC Cola and some Coke Zero. Uh, these are the meats I always get every week at the grocery. I get 96% lean. I get chicken tender breasts. And I always, like lately man, always. Oh, I was like, oh my God, did I pay for this and not get it? I always get a steak. And it's because I can cut it up into three pieces once I cook it. And I love that when I don't have a lot of points, I'll make a piece of steak, some asparagus or some veggies, or a piece of steak, a little bit of um, instant mashed potatoes and a side of corn. Fire! Oh, more corn. Who would have thought? I got some Prego lower calorie marinara. Half a cup, I think it's only two points. I always buy a couple 98% fat-free cream of chickens. Um, that's because I love making that um, casserole that I made on my, that chicken casserole I made before. But it also goes in a lot of other stuff. I might make a recipe this week that my sister made. She's on Weight Watchers too. So I might make that and it needs that. I always get Orita french fries because they're such good points. I'm pretty sure 12 pieces is only three points. So I usually do about five points worth of fries. I love french fries. Sorry. I forgot my waters. I usually get these zero calorie, or I think they're like five calories, but I don't count them. Um, carbonated waters. I didn't need my Laughing Cow spicy pepper jack cheeses. I put them in my wraps with some lettuce, with some boar's head turkey. Wrap it on up, eat that with like some of my white cheddar Cheeto puffs, or I get zesty ranch veggie straws which these are what they look like. The Zesty Ranch, I'm telling you, so much better than regular. Get on it. Yeah, those are a lot of my staples. I'm sure I forgot some things, but that's what I get every single week. Um, and then obviously, some things just depend on what recipe I'm gonna be making, but I always buy this stuff. Okay, you guys already know I had to change the instant I get home because I just can't. I can't handle being uncomfortable. Another weird thing about me. I'm making this tortellini soup kind of with a twist. So this shows you just one serving and it says it has fat-free chicken broth, sliced carrots, garlic cloves, broccoli, frozen tortellini, um, shredded chicken breast, tomatoes, um, and then on the top you put Parmesan and parsley. So I am using it says fat-free chicken broth and I accidentally got chicken stock fat-free, but I mean like whatever, it tastes the same, right? So I got this and it's zero points. It's chicken stock fat-free and I just diluted it a little bit and I already put it in the, in the pan because it was starting to steam because I forgot I turned the heat on. <laughs> so that's zero. Then I just got some diced peeled tomatoes because we all saw me before. I'm not cutting any tomatoes up, I forget. I didn't ask for onion, but I'm gonna put some onion in there because I just want to. Put this whole thing of tortellini in there. So I did the points myself, even though it says on here what it would be, because they just say a cup of tortellini, but that's not the, I don't know what, what one they got, you know? Like, hello, you gotta tell us. So I got this family size um, Giovanni Roma tortellini for, so this is gonna be six servings worth of soup and for six servings it's eight points per serving and the only reason why it's eight points is because of the tortellini so i am putting chicken in this as well i will weigh it out so i can put the green people's points up on here you can see i have that and i'm just going to do about three ounces of chicken honestly because it serves six people it's only going to add about like a point more for the green so that's good so this says, in small saucepan over high heat, bring broth, carrot, and garlic to a boil. Stir in broccoli and tortellini. So I need to get my garlic. So for the recipe for one person, it said to do one garlic clove. So I'm just gonna put like three or four things of garlic in here. Onion is optional, I'm just doing it. Cause I'm a chef now, you guys. 
just so you know. So I'm gonna cut up some carrots, see how well that goes, and then some onion. Should I just have bought shredded carrots? Yeah, I really should have, but you know what? You live and you learn, right ladies, gentlemen? Yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, when I was at the grocery store, I bought self-rising flour, and I looked down, something had sliced it somehow, and it was all over my cart. So embarrassing. I was like, cool. <laughs> I don't need this anymore. Don't charge me. <laughs> so that was my experience. That was really fun for everyone involved. So I am putting broccoli in here, but I'm just gonna use this kind because I just want to. But anyways, how many carrots is too much carrots? Like, can you ever have too many? Does it really do anything? If you have too many carrots, because I'm making a lot. I'm kind of cutting up the chicken-ish in here while it's still in the pan so that when I put it in there, it's not, it's like more shredded-ish. Uh-oh, oh no, things are falling. A mayday. Don't worry, I, I figured it out. I'm trying to drink the full water, you know, before I have my DC Cola. Okay, now that that's boiling, we're going to stir in the broccoli. The heck is the opening? Oh, where it says tear here. <laughs> okay. A little overkill? Yeah. So again, this is the tortellini I use. All right, and you just let that sit until the end of time. I hope this is done soon, guys. I'm hungry and I really hope it's good. Like what if it's not and I just waste all that tortellini? In stock I used, but you're supposed to use broth. Okay, so there it is. Looks pretty good. And then it says to garnish with some Parmesan, which I'm sure they meant sprinkle, but I'm using this. Some parsley. Oh, beautiful. Here's what it looks like up close. <laughs> I mean, pretty close, right? <laughs> Yum. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Woo, it's hot. Whoa. Steam it. Nice facial hair. <laughs> Carrots need cooked a little bit more. So I'm gonna let this simmer longer. I'll do like super low, but it's not gonna bug me enough to not eat it because I'm really hungry. But it is good. Yummy. Wow, this is really good, you guys. You should try it. I'll put their recipe on in the description box below. Um, that's just what I used, you know, and then like what I added and stuff. So you should definitely try it. I'm sure the completely correct way is really good. <laughs> okay, I packed up all the leftovers. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and the six serving that I ate. So six servings, so eight points a piece, just strictly because of the tortellini. <laughs> Whatever, it was so good. But yeah, I'm packing those for lunches for this week. And then just for obviously whenever you wanna eat it. And now for dessert.
and you guys are gonna like it. I have five points left and I know just what to do. Put the knife down. Okay, so first you take a Kids Fresh or your preferred waffle, okay? You cut that bad boy in half. Take out from the freezer your whipped topping fat free. Then you put this in the middle, like so. Avi, you can use ice cream as well. I use this because it's less points. Oliver, you better. Sweet chocolate chips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You put as many choco chips that you need in there. You take your cat down from the counter. You continue to put chocolate chips in there. Then squish it together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you want to be, you know, bougie, like you could have put the chocolate chips right here to make it look cooler. You could put some sprinkles. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Good. Waffle, two points. Chips, one point. Whipped cream, I don't know. Let's check. One point. So one point of that plus only 12 chocolate chips. So one point of that, two plus waffle, four point dessert. If you wanna make it less, you can just use sprinkles on it. You also, my friend uses graham crackers and she pre-does them and then puts them in the freezer in saran wrap. I just love the warm waffle I freeze my whipped topping. Just like that. Ice cream waffle sandwich. It's here and then it's gone. Like all good things in life. I already washed my face as you can tell because my eyes look like I got black eyes. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm just going to close it out here. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please give you, bleh, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't because it really helps support my channel. I post every Monday and Thursday and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.